This is my post review of the Abstract Music Notes by Joseph Klopaka. I am starting with the drills this time because I always forget to include them. My name is Marissa and I make a variety of diamond art content and consider liking and subscribing if you gain some sort of value from this type of content. I wanna jump in. Okay, so I got this, I can finally say, as a gift for my father-in-law. My husband's side of the family is so musically inclined. They're giving our children, you know, guitar lessons. They got them electric guitars for holidays. And it's just, this reminded me of them. And honestly, their house needs a little bit of uh, vibrancy brought into it. They're definitely um, men that do not decorate. So I'm gonna add my feminine touch to their house by giving them some colors. Okay them meaning my husband's uncle and father-in-law. Anyways, let's jump into the review and I will stop rambling on because that's not what you're here for. All right, so I normally have a trash and a spill little container because I am not the best at keeping my drills on my canvas. I always find drills at random places. So this is what I spilled this time. Not very much. I think I'm getting better at keeping them on the canvas. And then let's go over the trash some. I didn't worry about running out of anything at all, but that is a usual with Diamond Art Club. They normally have really good quality of diamonds too. And once again, it's very minimal um, trash. Like this is the smallest container and it's just such a little itty bitty bit of trash, which does not surprise me at all. Oh, these colors were so pretty. My favorite colors of this were, oh, okay. We're gonna start with 992. It's like this teal color. I love that it's kind of cloudy today and it makes it easier to get the actual color to transfer onto the camera with my settings. And it's just stunning. Also, I love, where is it? Hello, yes, oh, there you are. This like pinky color, it's 758. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's like a muted pink, oh, stunning. And I will show you one more favorite color and that would be this Y, which is like a watermelon pink color sprinkled in throughout. Oh, it's just, Stunning. This was one of the funnest canvases that I have done to date. It's not a lot of confetti, but it's also not color blocking. Like it's the perfect mixture of both. So let's start going over this canvas sump. This canvas had 48,601 drills on it. Um, let me try to bring you out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. I will also be doing some B-roll so you guys can see everything up close too. So that's the whole canvas and now I wanna bring you in just a little bit so you can see what I mean about like the, it's not confetti but it's not really like color blocking per se. It's got a amazing, like I could use my multi-placer here but there's also some other pinks mixed in too, right there. And then let's look at the blues. Okay, same thing here too. Um, like you can see, it's more like line blocking almost. Like right here, there's very little bit of the same color so I was able to use my multi-placer but it also has like confetti sprinkled in right here. I was able to use my multi-placer as well. Same thing, like it's just small chunks of multi-placing everywhere. And I have decided that is my favorite. This canvas was so much fun to do and I'm going to keep repeating that because, oh my God, I think I found my, my kryptonite. If I can find more canvases like this that are charted like this, oh, I'm, sold. I love how many colors there are. There is 46 colors all together. You of course got your symbols which were easy to differentiate, super clear on the canvas. 
and um, overall, I just friggin' loved it. I am so excited to give this to my father-in-law. I am not gonna lie, there was a moment there that I was like, I wanna keep this, but I don't think I would get as much joy as he would from it. And also, I kind of already hinted that I had a Father's Day coming towards him, which this is extremely late, but he was warned. He knew that this was gonna be late. And yeah, let's look for some of the uh, ABs because they did, they did so well at sprinkling him in. Like up in this top corner, we have ABs. All through right here, we have the green ABs. Same with down here. We got ABs as well. I was surprised for this like main center focal point of this picture. There wasn't hardly any ABs. Like there's like clusters of three right here. There's like one or two up here and just this little tiny corner piece here on this. And then when you scoot it over this way, we have ABs here, here, and a little bit here. Oh, I cannot believe how much I enjoyed this canvas. The colors were very uplifting, bright. The drills, fantastic quality per usual. Um, the last time I did a round, which was the Beautiful Death Colored by JoJo's Art, I talked about having a hard time placing rounds right because I felt like going from squares to rounds just made me forget how to diamond paint altogether and it was an adjustment period. But I think I got that down pat because I don't have nearly as much of the guide circles peeking through this at all. And I was also a little bit more particular on my placement maybe because this is a gift, but I feel like this was just an easier project overall. I also could be because there's less color blocking so I had to focus more on smaller areas and and with rounds, it's harder to multi-place bigger areas. Like if you have like a four or six, that's fine. But as soon as you start getting up to like the 10, 12, 15 placements, it's really difficult with rounds. All right, I'm going to do my B-roll and play it for you at the end with maybe a little bit of music. enjoyed that little panorama view of it. If you like this type of content, consider liking and subscribing. Have a beautiful day. Bye.